This video will be about which transaction type to use for a woman who is returning to WIC with a new pregnancy. This would be for a woman who is already on WIC or has been on WIC in the past. She will need some special processing before her certification. When you have a woman come in with a new pregnancy who was on WIC in the past or is on WIC now, it's tempting to just change her category, but that will cause problems in TWIST. Instead, you must choose the correct transaction type to start a new certification for her. The correct transaction type depends on her current status. There are four possibilities. The first is a woman who is active in WIC now. An example is any woman currently enrolled as breastfeeding or postpartum who is coming in for a new pregnancy. Or a less common situation would be a woman who shows on twist as currently enrolled as pregnant, but she tells you that the previous pregnancy had ended in miscarriage and now has a new pregnancy. The rest of the possible situations would all be women who have been terminated. So the second scenario is a terminated woman who was on WIC before as pregnant or postpartum. Her last cert end date is in the past. She's coming in now for a new pregnancy. The third is a terminated woman who is still within a current certification period. So her cert end date is in the future. An example might be a breastfeeding mom whose baby is under one year old who didn't get issued benefits for two months, so she was terminated. She's now coming in for her new pregnancy. And the fourth is a woman who shows on twist as terminated because she was last on WIC as a child and is now coming in for her first pregnancy. This situation requires special processing to separate her into her, her own new family before enrolling her for the new pregnancy. Next, we'll show how to process each of these in TWIST. You can watch the whole video or skip ahead to a specific section. The numbers show the time on the video when each section starts. First, for a woman who is currently an active client and is coming in with a new pregnancy, you will use the transaction type reinstate to enroll her for the new pregnancy. In TWIST, when you open the woman's enrollment screen, if she is an active client now, you'll see that she has an active record and a current certification period with her cert end date in the future. We recorded this in April, back when she was still active. If she's a pregnant client in TWIST, verify that she's coming in for a new pregnancy. Now you're ready to click on Change Transaction Type. Then simply select Reinstate and click OK. You can see that the certification dates change to a new certification period. This ends her old enrollment and begins a new one. Her new cert period will start on the first of next month. Continue by selecting pregnant as her new category. And enter her EDD. Save the enrollment screen and continue with her certification. Remember to issue her new benefits at the end. To summarize, that was the process for a woman who is currently on WIC now. You simply had to reinstate her record. Then her record was ready for you to complete the certification screens for her new pregnancy and issue her benefits. Next, let's talk about a woman who was on WIC before, she's been terminated, and her cert end date is in the past. For this one, you will also use the transaction type reinstate for her. This will start a new certification period, just like a new enrollment. In TWIST, when you open this woman's enrollment screen, you'll see the letter D in the top right corner and certification dates that are grayed out, which means that she is terminated. Her cert end date is in the past. The process for the reinstate is the same as before. Click on the Change Transaction Type button. Then simply select Reinstate and click OK. You can see that the certification dates change and now show a new certification period. This ends her old enrollment and begins the new one. Her new cert period will start today. Continue by selecting pregnant for her new category and enter her new EDD. Save and then continue on with her certification. To summarize, that was certifying a woman who was previously on WIC and is now coming back for a new pregnancy. We used reinstate to create a new certification period and then we would complete her certification screens and issue benefits. The next one is a little bit trickier. 
this is a woman who is terminated, but she is still within a current certification period. Her cert end date is in the future. For this, you'll use a two-step process. First, you need to reactivate her to make her current record active again. Then you can reinstate her to start her new pregnancy certification. In TWIST, when you open this woman's enrollment screen, you'll see that she's terminated because of the letter D in the top right corner and her certification dates are grayed out. This woman's cert end date is in the future. Because it's a new pregnancy, you know the first step is to change her transaction type. If you try to reinstate her first, like the first two examples, you'll get a reminder message that you have to reactivate her for her current certification first. Complete the first step by selecting Reactivation and clicking OK. Then save. You can see that her current certification is now active. And now you'll select Change Transaction Type again to reinstate her. Remember that reinstate is step two in the process. Now you can see that her new certification period has been created and you can continue certifying her by entering her new category and her new EDD. Then save her enrollment screen and continue on with her pregnancy certification. Just to review, this was a woman who was terminated but was still within a valid certification period. If she was coming in for a new pregnancy, you would first need to reactivate her current cert and then reinstate her for her new pregnancy. The last example is a new pregnancy for a woman who was a WIC participant when she was a child. This is a special case that also takes two steps to process. When you first open her record, because the category field is blank, you may be tempted to just enter her category for her new pregnancy, but don't. When you see that her certification dates are so old and she's still listed as a child category above, these are your clues that she was last on WIC as a child and needs special processing. First, exit out of this enrollment screen and say no to saving changes. Search for the client again so you can access her in Client Demographics. And enter duplicate next to her first name in her child record. Then save and exit. Then exit Client Demographics. Back in enrollment, you can continue on with the second step of the process. You'll create a new enrollment record, like she's a brand new client. Search for her again, like you would with any new client. When the search results come up on Client Demographics, do not select the Child Duplicate Record, but select Add New Client to create a new record for her as a woman. Then enroll her as you would any new client. If you think there is any relevant information from her old child chart, you can enter the information as a note. And that is how you process a woman who has a new pregnancy who was last on WIC as a child. So to summarize, when you have a returning WIC client who needs to be enrolled for a new pregnancy, you'll need to look at her enrollment screen to determine her current status and then decide the correct transaction type to use. To help you remember, you can print the job aid about choosing the correct transaction types from the Oregon WIC website. It's in the TWIST training section. Or, if you still have questions about which transaction type to use, you can call App Support for help at 1-866-865-2953.